Hi, welcome back for another week. It's Heather here from Willy Willy Sheep Sheep. Uh, you can find me on Etsy and Instagram under that tag, name, whatever. So if you are new here, um, hello and welcome. Uh, this is a channel mainly of cross stitch. Uh, I cross stitch myself. I have a shop. So sometimes I update on shop things as well, but um, it's mainly just what I have stitched and have been doing over the last two weeks or so and if you um, have come back um, to endure another one <laughs> hopefully it's not endurance um, but if you've come back uh, from watching previous ones of mine you are more than welcome as well and it's really good to see Ian's back I do really appreciate everybody that's subscribed is watching if you watch and don't subscribe just think about hitting that wee bell for that wee button for it it does I think supposed to make a difference whether it does or not who knows the gods of YouTube have not let us in on that one yet right um I'm looking down at my notes I don't actually have very much um I was stitching quite a bit but mainly on two things um so I haven't really got oh jiggling um I haven't really got a massive amount to show. I don't have a massive amount of haul. It was actually only something come in today by surprise. Other than that, I'd only had one thing to show you. Um, so I have sitting here something that I finished. I don't think I did show it on Instagram. I know I showed it on Instagram, but I don't think I've ever shown it completely finished on here. So I'm going to show you that. But um, I just want to start off by thanking anybody that has given me a shout out. Um, I know Stephanie and Alison did their, well yeah, no, uh, yesterday I watched it, but I think it was out at the weekend, um, from Stitching the Globe, give me a nice shout out. So they are great girls, just go over and give them a shout. They are really good girls. Um, I've been watching Stuarts and Stitches, love Stuart. Um, so there was one, I was actually watching him this morning there. There was one that he's doing, Um, it's English Garden Sampler. I can't remember who, who it is actually, who the designer is on that one. But it is absolutely gorgeous. And there's purples and greens, which that's everything I ever would want. So, but the only thing, and I would be well with him on this, is I'm not sure if it is Hard Anger, it's called... I think it is, or well, or it's embroidered. I'm not sure. He has to cut the fabric, you know, make it into like fancy stitches and cut the fabric to leave holes, for the want of a better word, spaces, gaps. So he's at that to do. Um, and he was showing all their other bits and bobs, but that one really stood out to me. I thought that one was lovely. Um, and then I have also been watching just uh, a wee bit this morning as well, the runner stick the runner stitcher and I know a good few of you you know who he is um he was doing the Chicago marathon yes um uh, it's probably a couple of weeks ago now and he got that done so congratulations to him because I couldn't run the length of myself but I did watch in his video he is or well he was doing um Jacob's the fruits of plenty from modern folk embroidery uh, he was doing it in greens and it was it's lovely so it's nice to see somebody that's around about the same bit on as me especially with it being a 2021 um, pattern because you sort of do feel like you're being maybe left behind by not being up I suppose every, a lot of people have it done a lot of people are just starting it I suppose so but it's it's nice to watch people's progress on it as well um, so no, he, he was doing it, so that's, and he, he had lots of different things he was doing, but that was because I'm stitching it at the moment, that's why it sort of stood out to me, but it was lovely in the greens, really, really nice, so it was. So that was really all, bar the usual Steph and Pam, uh, Nisi Lynn as well, I was watching her, but um, I sort of haven't, I'm not saying I haven't had the time to be watching floss tubes or keeping up with them. I don't know. I've just got out 
so I can say I've got, I haven't even got out of the way of watching them. I do. I always I love watching them, but for some reason I just can't seem to fit them all in at the minute. Where before I could do so, I don't know what I'm doing differently here, but um, I have to get caught up. I have to get caught up. Uh, but no, so that has been all my watching. Also, my watching does include I'm. Well, I say I'm. Our house is like true crime fanatics we do we do like a good true crime podcast youtube channel show anything like that there so um of course i've been watching a good few of those all as well um as i say listening to podcasts i have a few of them there's um morbid's one true crime garage is another america there's one I've started and it, it can actually be quite gruesome at times. It sort of doesn't hold back on the detail. Um, I can't remember. It's American something. If I, I have it on my phone so I'll, I can put it down below. If anybody else likes that sort of thing, they can, you can check it out so you can. But um, no, that's really what I've been up to this past couple of weeks. So just to get started and to show you what I have been working on. As I say I haven't been working, it's really two main pieces. I swapped over to something different last night so um, there's not that much done on it but I'll be working on it now for the next few nights going forward. But let me see, I'll start with talking of fruits of plenty. I have done a bit more to it. Now, I had a disaster and it's not a good disaster. <laughs> I don't think any disasters are. Um, we were having our dinner. I never thought anything of it. I have it sitting on the floor, down at the side. My daughter was sitting. Usually I would sit, you know, if it's out, I would sit on that seat to make sure nobody else is near it. No, I sat on my other seat. Um, she said on it, I picked it up to do a wee bit more on it that night and I noticed a nice curry stain. My own fault, I can't, like at the end of the day, anybody could have done it, but there we go, nice big curry stain. <laughs> and it didn't... I haven't even touched it with anything because I was afraid of it spreading. So I, I haven't touched it at all. Um, I counted out and it is just at the edge of a stitched area. I could have cried. I was like, if it was like one, even one block over or one block down, I would have been not a problem. But no, it's in the middle of negative space. So... What has to go there? I'll show you first what I've actually done. That would maybe be, be better. So that is how far we have got so far. So that I did want to get this in the middle complete, but it is very stitch heavy. And I've been sort of quite tired this past wee while so I haven't maybe been doing as much as I would want at night but um, that's well it's coming on half of it done so I'm happy I'm happy enough I'll keep that down there so we... but no so that's that's us there so it's coming on well I think now as for this lovely wee dot of curry um what goes here I'm just trying to get it up here a wee bit what goes here here there's a squirrel here and where that dot the bottom of it is like the bottom it's the last stitch in the in his ear so I'm gonna have to more or less is or is it his ear or his tail? I can't actually know whenever I'm thinking about it. I think it's his ear.
But either way, ear or tail is going to be longer and it's not going to be like what it is. Um, it could be a wee bit misshaping too. I'm actually trying to, I think it actually, I think it is his ear. So it's either, as I say, it's going, no matter whether it's tail, ear, head, finger, it is going to be misshapen. But it is the only thing I can do. At least it's not slap bang in the middle of somewhere that is absolutely negative space and has nothing around it. So it would look weird if you stuck something in. Because I even thought, oh, maybe I'll be able to put one of these like berries or something like that. But no, it's right at his ear tail whatever um so i'm gonna have to figure that out whenever i come to it but at least i can figure it out as i say if it had been like here or so, you know where there's no way of hiding it in or i would have cried i would have cried well i nearly did cry but um it could be worse as i say so See there and then he's gonna have like long bits coming. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Maybe just extend his ear a bit. We'll see when we come to it, but I didn't want I just did not want it to spread. I thought I'll go out and I'll put a wee bit on it now. I thought if I do and that spreads. Nervous breakdown. So no. I, I'm happy enough with what I've considered and I did count it I have counted it I don't know how many times to make sure that I haven't counted it wrong and that the ear will cover it or whatever part but um no that's right on the edge so we're just gonna have to uh, budge it a little bit but it'll be grand we'll we'll get there and it'll be grand so that was fruits of plenty oh I forgot to say that is on I think that's 16 count it's just cream Ada. I think it, I'm not actually 100% sure. I think I'm maybe Lakeside. Um, and it's 550 and 553 uh, are the colours that I use. So that is that. Um, the next one, I, where are we at? Monday, Monday night, I last stitched on this. This is Warm Night by the Artsy Housewife. I really forgot her name there. So I'm getting on really well with this. Now, I did want to finish the flowers before um, I put it down for this time, but I just, just couldn't get the flowers all finished. I'm not far off. I'm not far off. So that is what we have. So as you can see, I have just this flower left to finish. And get a wee bit of light on it for this kind of got dark there but no I'm happy with that so that just leaves me having that flower to finish and the same as at the top just putting that onto the bottom and that's it finished so to be honest the next time I probably sit down with this I could have finished I could just work on it until it's finished um, I can't see why not, but um, I love the colours in this, love the colours on it. And then with the opalescent fabric, again, I think this one, this is 18, I'm nearly sure it's 18 count. It's just a blue opalescent from uh, Coffee Craft. Megan there, um, she doesn't name her fabric, so you can sort of see the opalescent bit there so that's good I do and I, I love working on that that's it's really 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 nice to work on and when you get on you do get under a rhythm with the flowers as you can see from that one I tend to do the outside then I do the inside of the petals, the next colour, and then I start working on that middle. So I've got under a rhythm of how to do them when I'm on the last one, but I've got into it, so no. As I say, maybe the next time I'm on here, it could be a finish. Who knows? Who knows, for I certainly don't. 
And the last thing I've been working on is the Schitt's Creek Sampler. I just lifted it last night again and it's by Boomerang Stitches, I think. Again, all will be below. Um, so I've been, I say, only picked this up again last night. So um, there's not an awful lot done on it. But again, I love love this one. That's a full coverage. So last night I done from the end of the L across. So this is going to be an E. As far as I remember, this says motel. Or it'll be motel. But done it. And then I started the green turquoise colour up there. So I did. So I'm really happy with that. It is, it is so fun to work on. I sort of hesitated in lifting it because once I lift this, I don't want to put it down. You know, I could, I could work on this till I have it done. Um, which some might say that's fine, which it is completely and utterly fine. But I sort of don't, I, I'm sort of contradicting myself. I don't want to sicken myself with it either. But uh, so it's like any of the ones I do, um, I tend to sort of spend maybe four or five nights is really the maximum I would spend and then a change. I was going to pick up another one but um, that I had but I just seen and I wanted to so um, so no it's it is so fun so fun to work on and it's just I've said it before it's just blocks of colour it's gone dark um, it, it's you see when it's just blocks of colour there's it's near enough the same as the artsy housewife. Even that, I maybe there's a trend maybe here where I like things that are just uh, you can do like one color, quite a bit of one color. You see at the minute confetti. I think if I had confetti to work with, I would no, it wouldn't last. That's why I was gonna lift the hands across the sea. Amy can. Um, I was going to lift it last night and give it another go and I just went no so we'll see with it. I have a light and all now so that isn't the problem it's me just getting motivated to do it. So uh, oh and this is on 18 count just plain white data from Will Warehouse I got it from because I well I needed a good bit of it but so that's that's where that come from. I have these wee things as well. I'm not impressed with them but they were only cheapy ones off eBay. Maybe other ones are better and if you do use those and find they're good let me know where you got them from because I do I like the idea of them and I do like that the whole but you just have to look at these ones and they just drop off. You know they're just and I actually this morning was in panic mode because I thought I had two. I sort of always keep two, two, two. And I went into the living room to lift this. And I noticed there's only one. And I was like, I hope our dog didn't lift that. So I looked everywhere. I looked under the sofa. I looked, I have like a wee foot cushion, all that sitting. Lifted all that, lifted the cushions. Um, Our dog lies, our dogs lie on the back of the sofa. So took them, the cushions out. Everything went around. Found some sitting on the mantelpiece, counted them up, no, still one was missing. Went again, looked under the sofa, looked everywhere, no, could not find it. Looked at her, asked her did she eat it. She still looked as guilty as sin always does, no matter what you're asking her or telling her to do. Um, so she was of no help whatsoever. Um, and then I come in here. And I checked over where I had checked the other ones and there was another one lying behind the wee bowl I have the other ones in. So I think that that's them all accounted for. You see dogs and especially she's a cocker spaniel so everything goes under her mouth. We have, she's a cocker and the other one's a sprocker. The sprocker lifts nothing. If she does, it's food. That's the only thing and you just aren't going to take that off her. But you see the cocker? She will lift any more chill thing. We're sitting in the living room at night. Maybe now with the fire being lit, you have 
logs and stuff sitting and there's maybe like a wee bit of wood has fell off one of the logs she's that in her mouth the thing is is she carries it around and wags the tail so you know she has something in her mouth it's just getting it out of her mouth is the problem but we have a three years of it we had many a year before with our other dogs so we know we know what we're in for but um as we keep saying she's lucky she's as cute as she is for other than that but no so that was that and that is all my stitching for the last couple of weeks as i say not many projects but there actually there is a good bit done there um so there is so i'm happy enough i'm happy enough um haul as i say i've only a couple of wee bits of hauls so there's nothing nothing too immense there's actually another bit i'll speak about it in a wee minute um Coffee Craft Fabrics, I am part of her Fabric of the Month Club. This is the first one since she started, Megan has started back doing it again. Um, it's, this is an 18 count, I was going to say opalescent, no it's not, this is just 18 count. So it is, um, it's like purple and a navy mottling on it. So I think I've already a purpose and a use for this. I just need to get thread. But that's, we'll see about that. Um, I think the Yasmin Made With Love, if I can, I'll pop a wee picture up here. Um, I can't remember, it's like Halloween Eve or Hollows Eve, I think. Um, I bought that, it was the last video I think I bought that, I showed that one. I'm thinking of doing it on this, but in a navy. I just need to get the right navy so I'm I want to go to the craft shop in Balamina. That's the closest one to me that, that has a good selection. Um and do it on that but on with navy instead of black or whatever. Whenever I seen whenever that come in, I actually not that I'd forgot about it, but I just wasn't thinking of it coming. Um when it landed I was like, Oh my glory, that is gorgeous. It's like a really light, it's like a light lilac -y pink and then dark grey navy. So I think the navy on it will look very, very nice. So it will. So that was that. And as I say, this one uh, come, sorry, it's just an Amazon van outside and I'm going, did I buy anything from Amazon? Quite possibly my daughter bought something from Amazon. More than likely actually but uh, no I bought this one on eBay last week um, it never got posted out I messaged the seller I'm sort of lost what days I am I messaged the seller on Monday night so whether she forgot or not but she posted it out and it came this morning so I was more than happy with that um, and this was a Nablin by Stephanie and Alison of Stitch the Globe doing their uh, Mirabilia whip parade or whatever you want to call it. They were showing charts, whips, finishes, the whole thing. Um, so I will blame them for this and they know I'm blaming them. But uh, this one, this is it here. It's Xenia, Z-E-N-I-A. And it is beautiful. I am not. I really. I was. I look at the charts. And I think they're gorgeous. But it's not. I think they're gorgeous. But it's not something I maybe want to stitch. But I just happened to thought. I must just go on. And have a wee look. And see what there is. And I could see. As I say. They're all lovely. But they're just. I don't want to say I'm not fairy. I'm fairy, but I'm not fairy whenever it comes to stitching. It's like I like I don't like stitching butterflies, anything like that. Um, mermaids, anything. Don't like that. But when I seen this, and it was the witch, and it was reds, it was. I just thought, mm, I do. I like that one now. Um, and with that, I have added a few more to my wish list as well. 
Um, so you never know. I may become a fairy person. I'm not sure. Not saying for definite, but you never know. Um, but uh, no, so that's that one. And I really like that. I went ahead this morning and I bought fabric and all the floss for it. Floss, threads. Um, and the Mulhill beads. There's only actually one colour of bead. Which also was a reason why I picked this. Because I just didn't want to be thrown in with like 20 different colours of beads. And I just wouldn't have a clue where to start. Where I thought one colour. I think I can deal with that. I can, I can muster up for that. But um, no. So that, that's that. So hopefully the next time I'll be able to show you all the colours and everything. Um, I had one more piece of haul that I'm going to pop a video in here for it. I bought a sewing box, antique sewing box on legs. So I'm going to put a video in here for it and let you see it. Okay. Right. This is the sewing box that I got. I bought it off eBay. And I absolutely love it. So I have got two little things at the top. We have a spaniel trying to get in. Don't touch that. So we have that. And we have another one on this side. Out of it. We have another one on this side. And then it accordions out. Oh, I need to open it up. And then it'll accordion out like so. And it does that on both sides. And there's lots of room in there. So there is, yep, yeah, lots of room. And of that and that on each side. So I am more than happy with it. As you see, Dorothy. Madam. The other madam is there. Oh, it's not going to show. Right, back to this. So, I got this. I'm not sure, maybe 70s. There was lots that come with loads of stuff in it. It was bunged, so it was um, with stuff. And a lot of it sort of come across as 70s, 80s, that sort of thing. So, but the legs and all, loved it. Just love the colour of it. It's actually a wee bit darker in real life than what it's shown here. But um, needs a wee wash. But other than that, the inside of it all cleaned out. So happy with that. Right, I hope you like that. I love it. Um, I just, as I've said, need to give it a wee wash and whatnot. Um, cleaned out the inside of it, just need to give it a wee wash. So... All pleased with myself with that one. Right, the last thing on the agenda is this that I finished. Now, I finished this a wee while ago. Um, can't remember the exact time, but um, it has been this year. As I say, I don't think I've shown this other than outside of Instagram. Um, it's Blackbird Designs Halloween Eve. Halloween Eve. Halloween. Yeah, I think it's Halloween Eve. Yep. Um, lots of people have it have it stitched or are stitching it and whatnot. So, um, it is out there, and there's actually a copy in the shop. If you if you like it, so uh, it's a reprint, I think, as far as I'm aware. So no, I got this finished, and I am going to get it framed. That's there. I was thinking making it under a bell pull but to be honest I spent that much time on it. I think if I made a mock up of it I would I would uh, be in hysterics. So that is that and I love it. So that's why I want I want to get it done properly because I really don't want to muck that up so I don't. So 
that is everything this week. My plans as normal is just to keep going with what I have here. I don't, plans is really not my forte. I go, I'll do a bit, then I go, I look at what I have, I pick what I am in the mood to stitch. So there is things that could lie there for a good wee while before I decide, ah oh, yeah, I want to stitch them. Um, where some people do are very good at sort of keeping a rota for maybe the want of a better word, but you know, they, they can keep circulating all their patterns. I, I don't, I don't, I'm sorry. But um, no, definitely going to be working on the Schitt's Creek sampler a wee bit more. Definitely over the next few nights and I would say over the weekend as well. And then after that, who knows? Who knows? Um, but I'll let you know all that whenever um, I'm back again in another couple of weeks. So if you've got this far, thank you very much. Um, it's appreciated you watching. Um, and thank you. As I say, if you just maybe hit the wee subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed, but no matter. And I will see you next time. Bye.